So just a real quick catch up. This is from 8-1. We will be looking at example three's video in a minute, but we're doing our first example of trying to factor out monomials and then we're gonna find what they have in common. We've already factored out the three and we looked at separating out the constant and then we took apart the exponent and because it's x to the third power, we have three of them, yes? Mm -hmm. Now, what do you guys think we should do for the six? One, three three times times two. One times two times yeah. three because two times three is six times one. Remember, we wanna show the positive one because sometimes we're gonna have a negative one and it helps to just get in that habit of showing that there's always a one. How many X's for this one? Two. Okay, I'm just gonna use a different color just so it shows up pretty well. I wanna circle the ones they have in common because if I'm finding the GCF, I have to first find the things that they have in common and then put those common things back together. They, I've got an X and another X from both of them. I have the three from both of them. And what else do I have? One. Because they're both positive, I have the positive one. So if I take those three things, my GCF is going to be combining one times three times X times X. So what's my GCF? Nine, oh. Three, three X to the square. second power. Okay, well now it makes sense to you. Now, let's go back to how you guys were doing this yesterday. You were breaking it down and trying to figure out just without variables added to it. Can you now look at this and go, well, if I look at the constant, what's the highest thing these two are gonna have in common? The three. How many X's will they have in common? Okay, but this one would have one left over, right? Okay, questions so far? Yeah. Why did, why did you do Wait, no, ask the question because somebody I, else maybe. One times two times three. Because six is equal to two times three, and it's positive, and all positive numbers are also times one. So just, well, you just do like you're one you're not asking me why I did one times three over here when this was prime. If you think about when we were breaking these into factor trees yesterday, but we did the step method, I would have divided this by two and gotten three divided this by three and gotten one. What's really all on the outside here? One, three, two. Right? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Jose? Oh, wait, so like, you couldn't combine those if like the one was like negative and the other one was positive. You do that. Correct, and we'll get to some of those. If they're both negative, then we would combine it, but if they're okay. one positive, one negative, you, they're not common. And that's why it's really good to get in the habit of putting the positive one because if you have one positive one and a negative one, you can obviously see the difference, okay? So we're gonna leave this. I'll come back to doing more examples with you guys in a moment, but we're gonna pause and go watch this example three video. If you're watching this because you're absent, go watch it online. 